I went into the shed this morning and I seen a bucket full of two foot rebar. I'm like, well, hell, there's my wrought iron. So I got some spray paint, painted them, and uh, now I'm fixing to start cutting cedar to make it fancy. Yeah, I might even make some little cedar shelf right now because that'd be that'd look terrible from the other side. But I'll just enclose that probably with some solid. I don't know. Wait and see. Wait and see. <laughs> I'm going to come and backfill that with gravel. That way no moisture will ever collect. And that, those are treated in 2x4s, but even treated, they don't last forever. Uh, the, on the ends, that's obviously the concrete for the post. And that's a big chunk of concrete there, but I get plenty of gravel in there, good drainage. Uh, I'm going to be working on this whole area and doing... Starting to look like something now, huh? You know, I hate to admit it. It kind of looks like a snack bar, like, like the Frosty Cream on Sling Blade. Oh, that gives me an idea. Okay, uh, I've got to get some more filming on the when I start putting plywood and the rest of the tin on. But as you can see, there ain't a whole lot of pitch there. Just enough for that water. Ain't got no choice but to go down. And I've got this uh, ledger board attached here. Got them hanging with joist hangers. This will all be covered in plywood. And I gotta find my hurricane straps and these aren't where they need to be yet and get them fixed. But to fight the wasps, I already got in a fight with one of them. They live in that hole over there. I ain't gonna fret them. I ain't gonna fret them. Ah. We are here. Wasps are coming out right here. Screw them, what I say. If a man don't take a wasp thing every now and then, well, he just ain't a man. My screen tight. And what it is, is it's tracks, and it comes in eight foot sections. I've got more than enough. I've got enough extra to do other projects. Uh, the screen splines into that. And let me try to show you. This is exactly one and a half inches, same as the uh, two by six. All right, now you can kind of get a perspective of the size of this room, and I've got everything cleaned up, everything off those rails. Uh, I brought down an old table, put my tools and materials and things on. I can find them easier. Uh, I'm ready to get this screen on, man. I am. I'm 
enough to get a better shot of it. Uh, you can put a handle on it. I was able to screw through this just fine. Uh, like I say, I'm gonna plane that down. This thing will close perfectly when I'm done with it. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Not only do I got to do that now, but they've gotten used to this clover. Got a nice good patch of it here. It's never ending uh, food supply. Oh, I almost got you, Waddles. Okay. See if I can see any dates on top of these buildings. I, I know it's 1800s, early 1900s. The right First National Bank. I know the pawn shop used to be an old Ben Franklin store. And this bank doesn't say. Uh, if I find any history on that I'll, I'll put it at the end of the video that's an old service station it's now a pawn shop we got three pawn shops uh, there's the how much of that clip you saw me getting this up there or if it even recorded at all because the battery went dead on the GoPro but if it's in there then you've seen it uh, now I'm just gonna go cut this one to size here put it up drill some holes in put some lag bolts in it and uh, and see what we got to do from there I still got to put flashing on, but I was just going to... We're going to have to finish up this French drain because rain is coming tomorrow and it's going to keep on raining for several days. So I have to focus on getting this one finished. So all I got where I'm at now, I'm going to just dig this to where it's running downhill. Uh, pretty much close. You can see rainwater or groundwater is already seeped in. middle of that pile and uh, I'm gonna get ready to fill all this in uh, really doesn't help me there but I got a little spot I can bring it in it'll get easier all right man let me get Carport is going up. Got three young men here going at it. Seven in the morning. Getting 
looks good there. Here's the new view coming out the door. I like it. I like it a lot. Got your black trim. And let me tell you something, guys. This thing is solid. I mean, oh, that's $400. Plus some 2x4s that are in the truck. I got my outlet boxes. We've got the vent hood. The vent hood stuff. The vent outlets. Oh, that hurts. That hurt. Got my wire for my lighting and then the outlets. Various covers. I got a new breaker because this line that goes to the outlets in the kitchen is uh, on a 30 amp breaker. I know it's a little dark in here guys I'll try to lighten it up an editor if it is now I just got to get it all squared up get these get the bottom screwed on top here so now we should have 24 inch uh, height 12 inch depth and four foot length all right <laughs> oh. Oh. Up there. Just get one in. I can't really see. Get one in close. I'm in. Oh, yeah, this is really, really awkward. Oh, nowhere near that stud. That's two pieces uh, notched around these and I've got them fastened down with brad nails. Uh, these are uh, 18 gauge, what's the depth, uh, inch, inch and three eighths. So nothing huge. I do have uh, bigger ones if I need them. Hey, I'm just cutting these one at a time, taking my time. That's a good fit there. Okay, let me show you. Got them as tight as I could fit them. And they are gonna shrink a little. And I really don't have a whole lot of room here for 
hinges, but that's all right. God, it just, it looks on level. I think when I get all the walls finished, it'll look better, but it is not on level. I mean, it's just not. Yeah, that color looks good here. I ain't changing it. It goes fine with the house. Sorry about the noise, guys. I'm Trying to set my tripod up. Hopefully y'all don't blow over. Now the ceiling is completely done. Uh, I've I went over the entire thing with caulk. You don't see any gaps. It turned out well, uh, maybe a little bit of touch up paint with the black. And what I did the last, well, probably two days, <laughs> I'm starting on the side over here. Uh, you know, trying to do this trim and stuff. It's a little, little detailed, got, got some weird angle cuts. Uh, so I've got like that trim piece goes up. I'm basically following what they've got over here. Uh, this is a, a fine cut saw blade I don't think you necessarily have to have it it is very dull right now I forget what I bought this for to, to cut uh, but I can't find the other one go figure so we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece off now, as you might think this is easy to cut it isn't uh, especially if you're cutting where these holes are and you're hitting these holes every time so try to get, stay in between these holes it goes a lot easier you're just going to. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm going to go over this way. Mm-hmm. Mm. And we are putting trim. So, let's put one in each corner. What nurse? Oh, got that metal plate there. Well, now it slipped. <clears throat> and hold on. <clears throat> 